you join me on a very windy Tuesday afternoon and I started with a wire brush on angle grinder cleaning this down but it's just so windy that um, I don't think I think we're going to have some rain as well uh, I don't think I'm going to carry on too much because it's just covering everything in dust and Charlotte's fastidiously cleaning mustn't grumble here because we're about to advertise the old girl on interweb for sale anyone's interested in buying a boat uh, please send me a direct message but a lot of this quayside here we're going to need an awful lot of work on this I ain't buying an awful lot of work I mean give it a good wire brush down god it's cold as well fill where necessary with concrete repair um, see it is fairly solid but these cracks are where the breeze blocks have been laid so give it all the gouge out fill it and then god oh, bloody hell bitch I must paint bitumous oh. which I've been soaking in wan water this stuff if you soak it in wan water it makes it a lot easier a lot easier to spread just like my first girlfriend in a hot tub oh I wish I hadn't said that but you know what I mean she did love hot tub uh, and they weren't very popular back then you didn't see them very often so when we found a water bed as well hot tub and water bed I'd forgotten about that anyway bloody windy and uh, you don't want to hear about my <laughs> my previous um, here's still the annoying fucking ball ache of this is this PID here you little fucker overshot by sort of like two degrees now when it when that comes down it will hold it at 65 nicely but it's that stopping it overshooting in the first place I really need to get some time sit down and uh, RTFM on our our little PID does get up to its stuff uh, had a lovely chat yesterday with Ian Powell from Powell Brewing. I don't know if I mentioned, but our replacement mash tun, we're going to have two inlets at the top, one at this and one there. Uh, that's so with the turbid mash, I can easily just re-inject the turbid mash uh, without having to bogger around with swapping, switching between, you know. What a nice bloke, by the way. Anyway, you don't want to know about that. Powellbrewing.co.uk is his um, website address so i'm going to start making some room in here um what are we doing with a keg well it's still outside on waff um after i've cut all in it chris has got a lot on at the moment so i didn't really want to sort of go over there and start talking about how we're going to do what we're, tube we're going to use and whatever I said I don't know about that my my feeling is should get a piece of this and bend it have it bent just a little bit then chop that end off where the where the street elbow is going to go but I don't I don't want to don't want to add to his tings that he's doing at the moment he's got a lot of stuff on and soon hopefully we'll be rebrewing cause mid April I think I can't remember what date I originally said. I think it was the seventh of April, which was we was talking about in November. So we weren't far off the weren't far off the numbers there. And I was a little bit out when I was saying end of um, June. It's now sort of like mid June, but I was bang on the money by saying mid summer's day would be the target for trying to reopen everything. Well, it wasn't, just, it wasn't just me, it was everybody on that particular Public Health England uh, talking shop list. So we, uh, 
we were we were so close that it scared us and it's also annoyed us that had we made all of that information available beforehand people would have been able to more adequately plan their lives but anyway at least with with some degree of optimism chris won't be uh, massively shut down for a whole lot longer it's still a ball lake you know we're still we're still two months away from realistically we're two months away well we're um 12 weeks so theoretically three months away i think from all of that happening it's been a long old drag and people have suffered so which is why i'm not i'm not overly i've got a video to put up later actually it might be before this one i don't know of when we went over and the sort of what a ball like it was for chris reaming out all these holes good rimming job he did um and welding a lovely welding job he did uh but i've got two hours worth of sanding drilling reaming um die grinding welding swearing um so i need to find a way of editing that down that doesn't diminish the amount of work that you put into this all right for now uh i think i'm gonna probably just leave that because it is a bit windy if anything i'll just plonk a little bit around that um that bollard that mooring bollard and just see how that is tomorrow yeah see if i can get away without putting any concrete filler in there i don't know might might be all right what we don't want it is pooling but uh it's far too windy to do a large stretch because i don't want the wind feathering from the brush blowing from the brush all over the boat if that makes sense because we're about to sell it did i mention that if you want to buy a boat send me a private message shut up bailey next unfair to say the weather has deteriorated a tad. Now that's what I managed to uh, to get down. This is really just to see how it looks tomorrow. Um, a friend of mine said just stick all the bitumen down because otherwise you'll need to key this in here. If you do the concrete filler otherwise the concrete filler will just lift out but um, when this is all dry there's another stuff apparently I can fill that with and then we put the top coat of bitumen on wow wow bloody day um, so two hours buggering about with my by Martin website not that you'd notice um, trying to speed it up a bit by making some of the images smaller I am not a web designer even when I ran an IT business or an ISP, I was not a web designer. Any pretty stuff like that, I had someone called Gareth to do. Now I'm looking for the lid off the tin of bitumen paint, which I put down here and it seems to have blown away. So I think I've lost that. Anyway, I've put, put a bit of um, cling film over. God, weather forecast said it were gonna be all right today as well. So I've got all that to put down or get another container for it. Fun! What a day so far, eh? I think I'm gonna bring that other I'm gonna bring the other keg in and I'm gonna stack a couple of them over there, get them out of the way, because the last thing I want is potentially either that blowing away, which I doubt it will, or some little scrope coming in fucking nicking it another day and wet and windy oh god so i don't think we're going to be doing much today if i'm if i'm frank about this uh decided what we're going to do is move mustn't grumble alongside Olin Wata move all the planters 
and everything else down here and then I'm just gonna jet wash the whole lot and um, oh how's this done well that's dried all right I think that's a bit gammy in there where it's wet so that's going to be a problem uh, I think I might take all this up and try it with a try it with a filler because otherwise it is just going to pool in there and I don't like the idea of that so it was just to see how it was uh, how it was going to dry but it has dried really really well it's going to knacker up one angle grinder wire brush getting that all out but then fill it a few other bits do the same thing fill it here jet wash seriously jet wash the whole lot and then it looks like friday we might get a nice cute crumbs friday we might get us on this i'm going inside a nice enough day to uh to get some bitumen paint down and uh, oh I've got a bit of bad news this morning which we applied because the main the main business if you like is hiring narrowboats for holiday hire accommodation there was a grant made available to businesses accommodation businesses uh, which isn't a lot, or accommodation and, and you know people in the in the leisure and hospitality. So if you had a cafe or a bar, you get about a grand a month, which ain't a lot, but you know helps tide you over. Um, so we thought, as we're the same as a B and B, but it floats on water. We'd apply. I got, got a reply today saying no, you can fuck off. It uh, it's premises specific. So if you was a bar, then you'd have got it. If you was a cafe, even if you was just like a little greasy spoon, you'd have got it. But because you hire boats out, so we're fucked. Um, technically, were it not for director's loan funding, the business would be bankrupt. The business would be insolvent. You can't go a year with no support. And... Um, yeah, so yeah, I, I bang on about how bad it is for pubs and cafes and restaurants. <sighs> we got we got still got a building to maintain. We still got bills to pay, just like pubs and restaurants, cafes. We got fucking boats outside that still need licensing and insuring and maintaining, and we don't get a penny. Fuck my luck. Anyway, I'm I'm not in a good enough mood to finish this vlog properly. I might do another one tomorrow if I manage to jet wash the sides. But for now, that's uh, Tuesday and Wednesday all wrapped up. All wrapped up before lunchtime. How about that? Isn't that good?